Hello everybody, welcome back to Focus Hive with your host Ravi Verma. We turn complaints into gift and that's what we are doing here in this series. We have been talking about various nuances of complaints and how we can turn them into gift. In, in this episode, we will talk about the psychology of complaints. We'll try to understand why people like to grumble. First off, let's admit it, complaining feels good. It's like itching a scratch or popping a bubble wrap. It's true, but why does it feel so good? Let us look at why people love to complain. So why people complained is really critical to understand before we start diving into how to respond to a complaint. Psychologists say that it feels so good to complain because it's a method of bonding. Uh, ever wondered when you were standing in a queue, maybe a bank or a driver's license uh, office and uh, the clerk who's operating is really slow and you start talking about the speed at which the queue is flowing and then you find someone else who is experiencing the same thing and then you start talking about it and then you bond. Ever wondered what happened there? That's basically you both were complaining about the same thing and you bonded over it. So complaining is a method to bond. The second important item about why we complained is when you vent out. When things are out of control, things that are not falling in place as per your expectation, you need to vent out to relieve your stress. So complaining is a method of relieving stress. And third item that I've highlighted on this slide is highlighting an issue. That's relevant to us because we're talking about in a organizational setup, which is where we are trying to look at how we take complaint from our customers, our colleagues, our seniors, our, our peers, whoever it can be, and then turn them into gifts so that our organization can grow exponentially. And that's why I'm, I'm saying, and I've put star marks on that, that it's relevant for this series is highlighting an issue. When, when you are experiencing a problem and it's, it's out of your control, you don't know how to solve it, or you are not able to solve it, you would want to highlight that issue. And that's one of the prominent reasons why people complained. Now, let, let us look at why such issues happen, why customers complain. And that's what we have in the next slide, which talks about why customers complain. So broadly categorized into five topics. The most and, and the topmost reason of why customers complain is because you've got a shitty service. No matter what, maybe you have a golden, golden product, but when the customers need help in order to use the product or they have hit a roadblock or they've hit a problem and they need some, some help, they contact your people and, and they just blow it all together, drop the ball, God knows where and give the shittiest service to the customer. That's one reason. That's the topmost reason of why a customer would complain. The second top reason we've come across is sneaky sales, which means your product is not capable of doing certain things, but your sales engineer or your uh, sales representative or, your, or, or the person who was selling your product just lied about it and made up a story and sold the product a comb to a bald guy and and that is that leads to surprises because when the customer actually goes to use your product it doesn't work as they were sold it's a surprise and the customer really gets angry third top most reason is your product is shitty it just doesn't work it's a bad product altogether you've not thought through while you're making a product and you've just started selling it and people have purchased that for whatever reasons, and it doesn't work, they will complain. Or a substandard, substandard experience. Your product may be okay, your service may be okay, your sales did a fair, fairly good job, but when you connect the dots from the day your cust the customer got to know about your product to the day when they are renewing it or they're repurchasing it, how did they feel 
the whole journey with your product was that great i mean was that great was that show stealer or was that just subpar that is another reason why customers would complain i mean and the last but not the least if something goes wrong they don't know where to go and tell about it connect this with the previous reasons why people like to complain right they like to complain at times because they want to vent out and if they are experiencing a problem and they don't know where to vent out that's a problem and as an organization leader you got to solve it so that's another reason why people or why customers complain so knowing these angles of why people or human in general complain and then categorize them into the buckets of why your customers are complaining is essential in managing these complaints and accurately responding to them we are back so it's also essential to know that we should not become a cranky or a nagging person because at times our ego comes in play and we become a chronic complaining grumpy customer and we don't want to be that so whenever it it is really important for us as customers also to to strike the balance and complain in a constructive manner but as an organization owner or a leader in the organization it is our responsibility to make sure continue to convert these complaints these feedbacks these nasty emails into our gifts because these gives us the real time learnings that we require to improve on our product our services our operations and you name it this is the best way to look at our own selves and see where we are lagging and then pull up our socks with that thank you so much for joining in today i want you to go ahead and click on like subscribe and do share it with your friends as it helps to spread the word thank you bye bye <music>